Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Mason African Motives, uh, still on engineering science and two. So in this platform, we've got a question that you're going to work on on statics uh, from the question paper of November, 2022. Uh, so we're going to quickly rush through the questions that we are given on 2.1, we are given a uh, state, the law of moments and uh, that's uh, two marks for that, okay? So I'm just going to show you uh, a clear uh, a, a definition that you can write for the law of moments. Okay, so we can state that a system of forces will be in equilibrium if the sum of the clockwise moments equals the sum of the anti-clockwise moments about the same turning point. All right, so this can be uh, working with uh, moments or you can write uh, in terms, uh, in this manner, a system of forces is in equilibrium when the sum of the clockwise moment about a fulcrum is equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise moments about the same fulcrum or the same point. So you can define this in so many ways, guys. I don't know which one uh, is best for you in terms of the explanation. All right. So on 2.2, we are now given that there is a horizontal beam uh, shown in the diagram rest on two supports A and B. So for the supports here, A and B. So there's a support at A and a support at B. Determine the reaction of both supports by taking moments about each support. Ignore the weight of the beam. All right. So take note, guys, we've got a point load in this case of 245, uh, 168, 200. So let's just analyze what we have uh in between from five meters six meters okay so this is five meters this was not clear uh this is six meters okay and that was uh nine comma five meters okay so what it simply means is that we can determine the distance in between uh from this point load here there's a distance in between here where we can simply subtract five plus six that's eleven minus 9,5, okay, which is going to be 1,5. So which means here we have got 1,5 meters. And also we can find also the distance in between here from uh, this support A to the point load of 168, uh, okay? We can determine also the distance uh, in between here so that it, it is not going to we are not going to waste much time when calculating now the reactions. All right, so that will be here. Remember from this point up to this point here, we've got uh, five meters. So it's five minus 1,5, okay? Which is uh, 3,5 meters, okay? So I think everything is fine. From this point to this point, we've got six meters, which is the same as from this point to the, uh, to the support B. Okay, so that's what we have. I think everything is clear in this case. Okay, so what you're going to do uh, is for me, I'm going to start with the A. I'm going to start by taking moments about A, all right? So let's see uh, what we are going to have. So taking moments about A, okay, all right. There's something here. All right, so this was person 2.21, okay, 2.21. So I'm going to start by taking moments about A. So taking uh, moments about A. All right. So if I am referred to A in this case, this is what I have uh, according to A. We know that we are going to work. Remember, guys, what I said, if you refer to A, therefore, we are going to take the moment, the other force back to the point A. So which means B is going to move back to A and the way that B is moving back to A is going to maintain this direction. This is our B. So B is going to go in this direction. It's going to flow in this direction, which is the anti-clockwise direction. All right. So whatever that we are going to have, as for me, I, I, I prefer starting with the unknown value, which is B. So B moving back to A, it's moving in an anti-clockwise direction. So I can now have my formula to say uh, the sum of the anti-clockwise moments should be equal to the sum of the clockwise moments in this case. All right. So taking uh, B as an advantage because we want to find B. Okay. So B back to A, 
what is the distance? Remember, moment that's four times distance. So it's going to be B times the distance back to A. So B back to A here, uh, the distance is going to be uh, 9,5. That's 9,5, the one that is already indicated. B and A, they are separated 9,5 in between. Okay, that's 9,5 in between. So that's B times 9,5. All right, so we shall have B times 9,5. All right, that's B times 9,5, force times distance. Okay, let's check if we have another part that is moving in the anti-clockwise, okay? Let's check what is happening to these, okay, forces that we are given. If we are to check here, 245 is going to move this direction back to A. This is the direction of 245, that is the direction, which is still in the anti-clockwise direction, okay? 168 moving back to A is going to move this way, which is a clockwise direction, okay? 200 is going to move this way, which is a clockwise direction. So that means we are going to add uh, the one, the 245, because 245 is in the anti-clockwise direction. And the distance between the 245 and the support A is 1,5. So it's going to be 245, times 1,5, all right, so that's 2,45 by 1,5. You add because these are all in the anti-clockwise. So we are going to add uh, 2,45 and 1,5. So that's 2,45 times 1,5, which is equivalent to, we now take the ones that we say they are in the clockwise and in the clockwise, we said we've got 168 here uh, versus a distance of 3,5 back to A, so it's 168 times 3,5. So we shall multiply 168 times uh, 3,5, okay? That was 3,5 plus, we still have another one moving in the clockwise, we still have the 200. So 200 moving back to A, it's 9,5. 200, it's at the same point as B. So they have the same distance, which is 9,5. So that's 200 times 9.5, okay? So you've got 200 times 9.5. So guys, uh, that's what you're going to have. And what you need is to simplify further. So uh, B times 9.5, that's 9.5B, plus you just multiply 245 uh, times 1.5. If you multiply properly, you're going to obtain uh, from your calculator, you're going to obtain something like uh, 367. So that's 367.5. Okay, is equal to, so I want you to combine these two, okay, uh, multiply, then add, we are going to have something like 200, uh, 200, uh, 2488, 2488, then uh, we can transpose so that we remain with 9,5B, that means we can transpose uh, the 367,5 to the other side, which is going to be a negative, so you subtract, 37,5. If you subtract this properly, we are going to obtain 2,120,5. All right. So to find B, simply divide by 9,5 both sides, by 9,5 both sides, so we can have our B. All right. So our B in this case is going to be 223,211 Newton. All right. So uh, that is what we have. And also take note. The Newton day, we are maintaining the ones that we already have. We had, we are given uh, previously 245 Newton, 168. So you maintain, if it is kilo Newton, then you write your answer as kilo Newton. All right. So that was uh, taking moments about A. So in this case, now we shall see if we are to take our moments about C, we, uh, about B, sorry, which means this is going to change. All right. This is going to change. Uh, because now we are referring uh, to C, all right? So let's see what we are going to have in this case. I'm just going to have it aside, even aside here, all right? So let's see what we're going to have. So taking moments, all right? That's moment about, all right? That's about B this time, all right? So about B, which means our major concern is on A. So let's see how A is moving towards 
to B. So if we are to check here, A is moving in this way towards, this is our A. Back to B, it's, it's going to be in this direction. That is the clockwise direction. So I'm going to have my formula starting with the clockwise moment. So this formula, guys, does not matter which side are you going to start with, does not even matter at all. Okay, so I'm going to start with the sum of the clockwise moments is equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise moments because I want to take advantage of A. So that is A times the distance between A back to B here. What is the distance of A back to B? That is the same 9,5. So we are going to multiply this by 9,5. All right, so that's A times 9,5. All right, do we still have any other forces which are moving in the clockwise back to the point B. Okay, so let's check which are moving in the clockwise and which ones are moving in the, uh, in the anti clockwise. Okay, so this is what we have according to, to, to B. All right, this is our B. So the 200 is direct at B. So we can't say it's a clockwise or it's anti clockwise because there's no distance in between. So this is actually at a neutral point. So there's nothing that is going to come out from 200. Okay, we move on to 168. Going back to B, we can see that uh, it's moving this way. That is towards B, all right? And what is this direction? This is anti clockwise, which is the same scenario with the 245. It's moving this direction, which is also anti clockwise. So this is in the anti clockwise. This is in the anticlockwise, and we said the 200 is at a neutral point direct where B is. So we can't tell it's clockwise or it's anticlockwise, but what we know is that the distance is a zero. So at the moment you multiply force times distance, you are going to obtain what? You are going to obtain a zero. So there's nothing that we can get. So which means we are going to focus with 168 back to B, okay? So what is the distance between 168 and B, the distance between 168 and B is six meters. So that's 168 times the difference of six meters, okay? So we're going to multiply 168 uh, times six, all right? So this is what you're going to have in this case. So this is equal to the anti-clockwise, okay? So the 168 is in the anti-clockwise. So that's 168 times six, okay? Class, we saw that we still have another one uh, which is of 245. But what is the difference or what is the distance between uh, 245 back to B? So this is the whole distance from 245. We add five and six, which is 11 meters. So there's a distance of 11, five plus six there. So that's 245 times 11. All right, so take note about this one. So it's going to be 200 and 45 times 11. So take note what I said about the 200. The 200 is not going to affect because we do not know it's in the clockwise or in the anti-clockwise. So we know that that one is a zero straight. So we are not going to affect anyway, either it's in the clockwise or in the anti-clockwise. So we do not know where it was exactly, but that's a zero. Okay, A times 9,5, that's 9,5 A, which is equal to, so what I want you is to combine everything on the right-hand side. You multiply these two, you multiply these two, you add, you are going to obtain 3,703. So to find A, we simply divide by 9,5 both sides by 9,5 both sides. So our A as a erection is going to be 389,789 Newton. Okay, so that's you and your calculator, please. Make sure that you use your calculator properly. So we have the value of A, we have the value of B uh, from this point. Okay, so that was it, guys. Uh, as you can see, it was a pretty clear question. All you needed was to work it properly, uh, showing all the stages properly. You can have the value of B and also the value of A. All right, so let's check out what was the other part of the question uh, from this information. It was... Uh, Okay, ignore the weight, okay, determine by taking, okay, so that was only to determine, okay, so let's check the other one on the other page here. So on the other part, we are now given, test the answers in question 2.21, that is question 2.22, uh, that's one mark to test the answers, okay, so how do you test these answers, okay, so that's question uh, 2.22, all right, so we are going to 
do this 2.22. So we know that uh, from the sum of forces, the sum of the upward forces should be equal to the sum of the downward forces. So that is what we can actually use. Okay, the upward forces, we are referring to those going up, which are the supports, which means we are referring to the support A and the support B. All right, so we are going to add the supports. That's three, eight, nine, comma, seven, eight, nine, plus another support, which is B, which is two, two, three, comma, two, one, one. This is supposed to be equal to the downward forces, which is the point loads. So from your diagram, we have the point loads here. We have got the point load uh, of 245. So we, 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 we add everything, all these point loads. The 245 is pointing down. The 180, 68 is pointing down. The 200 is pointing down. So we add all these together. All right. So that is going to be, uh, okay, let's add these together. So we saw those uh, point loads. So we had 245. All right, so let's just have this uh, side here. So we had 245 plus 168 plus 200. Okay, so if you add properly from your calculator, guys, you're going to obtain 613 Newton and on the other side is going to be 613 Newton. That is, it truly balances. That is what it's supposed to do. If these are not equal, then it means somehow, somehow, somehow we we didn't uh, uh, do this question well. Okay, so that was our question, guys. Uh, as we saw, it's a pretty uh, nice question. We have to revise this. More, more questions of this nature. Okay, on 2.3, which is the last part of the question, we are now given to, okay, Give one example of couples. Couples, there are so many examples that we can have on couples. Remember, we can use this uh, in water spray. Okay, so we can have this in water spray. All right, we can use couples water spray. Uh, we can have this as a water spray as door handles. All right, so we can have this as door handles. We can have this as uh, the wing nut. All right, that's a wing not we can have this as uh, a thread cutter so this can be a thread that's an a there okay so you can have this as thread cutters so the wing nut can be also be taken from the from the wing wing nut spanner okay so it can be taken from the wing nut spanner all right so this can be taken from uh, the wing nut spanner all right then uh, there are so many ways. So just list, just one, guys. Okay, just one example. There is not about much. Okay, so it was just one question. It was just one mark for that. Okay, so that's what we had, guys, from this uh, paper on moments uh, from November 2022 question paper, uh, aesthetics, I mean. So we just have to revise as much questions as possible. Uh, that is the best way to 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 to, uh, to 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 prepare for these exams which are ahead of time revise as much questions as you can guys you will see that it's actually nothing at all so that's it guys till we meet again